Hi, I'm Peter Gordon. I'm a chef and I've got restaurants here in London and also in New Zealand. And I'm going to show you a great family meal. It's New Zealand lamb meatballs with couscous, carrots and peas, but done in quite an interesting way. First of all, you want to make the couscous. And, and this is a grain that's really good to use. It's wheat based, um, but it's really simple to make. But all, literally all you do is put in some instant couscous, put on some tepid water, not boiling, not cold, but just tepid just until it covers the couscous, add a little bit of salt, some pepper, a bit of parsley, you can either chop it or pick it, and you can add things like mint, um, basil, coriander, all sorts of stuff, lots of flavours, but I think for the family maybe just a bit of parsley, some extra virgin olive oil, Give it a stir. The couscous absorbs the water and it becomes really nice and fluffy. Put to one side. Now time to move on to the meatballs. What I'm going to use is New Zealand minced lamb. And the reason I'm using this is that I'm a Kiwi and I grew up eating New Zealand lamb. It's a wonderful meat. It's tasty. It's flavoursome. They grow outside all year round. And um, mince is a great thing to give kids because whether it's in a bolognese type sauce or a meatball, it's something that the kids can eat really easily. Really nutritious, really flavoursome. So what I've got is the mince. I'm going to add some dried herbs. You can use fresh herbs if you want, but dried herbs are always in the pantry. I'm going to add some mustard. And if you're worried that the kids won't like this, then you can omit it or just sneak it in and they won't know. A bit of tomato sauce, uh, which is always in the pantry. Kids love it. A little bit of salt. And because of the mustard, you don't need to add the, any pepper here. So just squeeze it all together. Then what you want to do is coat it in flour. So three, three meatballs per person is a good amount. So just take out a little ball, roll it in some flour that I've got here. About this size here. So it's somewhere like a large walnut size, I suppose. Give it another roll. You don't want too much flour, but it forms a nice little crust on the outside. Okay, so once they're all coated, you just need to have a pan heated up. You need something like a sauté pan with a lid. Then wash your hands, clear the bench a bit, and I'll be back. Okay, now it's time to cook the meatballs. You just want to put a little bit of oil, vegetable oil, into a pan. Not too much. Then add the meatballs. What you want to do with these is just brown them all over. So what you want to do now is just take them out and drain a bit of the oil away from the pan. Keep it nice and healthy. Take them out. So what you do is just lay a bit of absorbent paper in. Keep the heat on. This just takes out the excess oil. Then add a couple of cans of chopped peeled tomatoes. And if it's the height of summer and you've got tons of tomatoes, just chop them up yourself. Tip them in. Carefully return the meatballs to the pan. A little bit of salt to season the sauce. A few dried herbs, or you can use fresh herbs if you've got them. We'll just put in a little bit of pepper here. So now put a lid on that, bring it to a kind of a rapid boil, and then just turn it down. And these are going to take about 15 minutes tops to cook. Okay, and they'll stay nice and succulent. All that juice and flavour is going to stay within the meatball because of the flour coating. What I've got here is a pot of lightly salted water, which I'm boiling, and I'm just going to add some carrots. All I've done with these is I've scrubbed the skins and I've just snipped the tops off. If you can't get hold of baby carrots, that's not a problem. Just get large carrots, peel them, chop them on an angle and drop them into this lightly salted water. And we'll boil them for about 8 to 10 minutes. So the meatballs have been cooking now for 12 minutes and they're ready to turn. Oh, and the aroma coming off this is lovely. It's nice and lovely and rich flavour and it's incredibly simple really when you think about it. It's, it's the meat, it's the mustard, it's the 
tomato sauce and dried herbs. The natural flavour of the meat is what gives us a really good, good edge on most other meatballs. Just give your pan a shake, lid back on, and the carrots will be ready too. So they've been on a rapid simmer, not a, not a mad boil, but a rapid simmer. You don't want to overcook them. And they're cooked when you can just poke a knife in and there's a little bit of resistance in there. So what I like to do with my carrots to make them really tasty is sauté them in a little bit of butter and a little bit of salt and pepper, just a little bit. Take the carrots out of the pot but keep the water on because you're going to need that for your peas. Bring the water back to the boil and add your peas. I love peas. Peas and lamb is such a good combination. Give them a stir, lid back on, turn the heat off. Carrots get a stir, lid on them, and in five minutes this is going to be ready to serve. Okay, so everything's ready to serve now. The peas have sat in that hot water for five minutes. They don't need cooking, but the heat and the water's cooked them all the way through. So what you want to do is just drain them. Add them back to our carrots. Give it a good stir. Turn that off. Meatball's looking great. Now it's time to serve it. So the couscous is looking really good. It's nice and fluffy. It hasn't all stuck together like it sometimes does, and that's because we've used tepid water. If you're worried that this isn't hot, what you can do is just put this in the microwave, a bit of um, cling film on the top, and just give it a minute and a half or so, and that'll warm it through. But you've got a really hot dish here. So for kids, it's probably good that this is served at room temperature. Put this in your bowl. Then your vegetables. Nice peas, little baby carrots that kids love. Then three meatballs per portion is good. One, two, three. Give the sauce a bit of a stir. It's a great midweek snack. It's lamb meatballs on parsley couscous with peas and carrots. Really tasty.